Every year, the world's largest CEOs, political figures, financial leaders, and other very important people hold a secret gathering known as the Bilderberg Meeting, or group. What they actually discuss, nobody knows, which has given rise to endless conspiracy theories about the real nature of the conference and its attendees. Journalists who've tried to find out have even been detained. So what exactly is the Bilderberg Group, and what do we know about it? Well, originally, the group was formed in 1954 in the Netherlands for the express purpose of promoting Atlanticism. This is basically a cooperative movement between the United States and Europe to promote financial prosperity as well as to pool defense and international influence. Totally unsurprisingly, this meeting came into existence just as the Cold War ramped into second gear and countries around the world chose their side of the Russia-US conflict. One of the founders of the Bilderberg Group was Joseph Redinger, who was the first secretary general for the European movement, which led directly to the modern day European Union. So effectively, the original intention of the Bilderberg Group was to join all the westernized countries in Europe with the hyper-Western United States. Not only did this union work, it followed the stability of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO. The defense network against the Soviet Union provided a solid backing for Western leaders to work together. Today, although almost no details of what is specifically discussed behind closed doors are ever openly shared, a list of broad topics are provided to the public. The June 2016 meeting in Germany included points about cybersecurity, energy and commodity prices, Russia and China, and the term precariat, which describes workers in jobs with no future security or long-term goals. These issues are likely going to be the most relevant for the global economy and security in the near future. We also know who attends these conferences. It's invite only and varies from about 120 to 150 attendees. This year's guest list was publicly revealed to include powerful figures such as former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, former CIA head David Petraeus, Senator Lindsey Graham, billionaire Peter Thiel, and a large number of CEOs from companies as diverse as LinkedIn to Royal Dutch Shell. What few things members of the conference are allowed to publicly discuss are bound to what is called the Chatham House Rule. No information shared from the meeting can be attributed to the person who said it or their affiliation, allowing controversial opinions to come through without fear of public repercussion. Of course, such secrecy is prone to conspiracy theories from both sides of the political spectrum. Some conservatives suggest that the group intends to take over the world, imposing a single government and a sort of socialist economy, while those on the liberal side fear a stripped down of regulation and unbridled free market capitalism. The distinction shows that nobody actually knows what the meeting is about besides those who attend. One thing is clear, however, such a large grouping of the most powerful people in the world is not a simple sit and chat, and it's likely that world events are influenced by the results of the Bilderberg Group. But at least the Bilderbergs have a publicized meeting. Other secretive conspiratorial groups like, say, the Illuminati barely exist on paper. But does the Illuminati have more influence than most people think? Find out by watching this video. In recent years, the idea of a resurgent or surviving Illuminati order that is in control of world events through underlying iconography and ritualism has been a popular conspiracy theory. However, there is literally no evidence of the existence of this group nor any connection between current groups and the Bavarian Illuminati. Still, isn't that exactly what they'd want you to think? Thanks for watching Seeker Daily. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every day.